Mm. Barely fits on the unboxing table. Hey, what's up everybody? TechFit360 here, and thank you so much for joining me for yet another video review. All right, today's video is for my budget gear series. Today on the channel, I have the Samsung 32 inch S70A high def monitor. So if you're looking for a budget friendly monitor, that 4K monitor that is, then look no further because your road to being tech fit starts at three, two, one. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please consider joining the TechFit 360 crew by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. Now let's check out today's video. It's already in progress. Now don't you just love the thrill and excitement of receiving something new and just grabbing those little plastic bags that hold accessories and just rip the plastic apart and just reveal what's on the inside? All right, I'm going crazy here, but uh, let me uh, tell you what's inside the box. That thump you just heard was the black metal base. You get a monitor arm, you get the quick setup guide and warranty. Also included is one HDMI cable, one display port cable, and one power cord. It's only been a few monitors that I've actually had trouble assembling or they gave me a hard time. But this one right here, I'm pretty sure that I can assemble this monitor stand blindfolded. But I'm not going to try it today. Maybe that's something I can do in a future video. But as you can see, it is very simple to assemble. Okay, checking out the backside of the monitor. Don't mean to sound weird, but uh, first of all, it's hard plastic. You will notice that the Samsung logo is right here on the left. You got a Visa mount in the center, air vent holes running horizontally on the back of the monitor. You get a headphone jack. There is a USB service port. The monitor has two video inputs, one for display and the other for HDMI. I don't know about you, but there are many, many times that I really struggle with cable management. But as usual, Samsung provides a way to help you tidy up your monitor cables. Now, as we know, the struggle is real. Now, with this monitor, you don't have the ability to rotate the screen for more than a hair or two, but it does allow for tilting up to 22 degrees. So as the monitor turns and then stops, it sounds like a soap opera, you know, like as the world turns, as the monitor. Anyway, check out the borderless three-sided design. Now, this is awesome and is really going to rock, especially when you introduce this in a dual monitor setup. Now, this 4K monitor has a maximum display resolution of 3840 by 2160 and HDR 10 or high dynamic range 10, which opens your world to a wide range of vibrant colors. Now, it also means it improves the contrast between very dark and very light colors. Now this is also a VA or vertical alignment panel monitor as well which I feel is an excellent choice for general use and really shines in a dark environment. Now this monitor offers a 178 degree viewing angle horizontally and vertically so you should not see a loss of video quality when looking at the monitor at an angle. Uh, so I'm used to my Samsung monitor, the controls being on the front of the display or maybe a jog button on the lower back. So where are the controls for this monitor? Right here underneath. This is where you will find the five button navigation system. And I'm glad I found it because I need it so I can show you some other cool features. Now I'm on my monitor a lot. This monitor has a feature called eye saver, which blocks the blue lights and relieves your eyes from all that excessive strange. Now, <laughs> and I mean, it relieves your eyes from all that excessive strain, not strange. Now, another feature I love is the picture by picture and the picture in picture. So if you need to take a break from work, uh, you can have another video source connected like a PS5, a Xbox, or even an Amazon Fire Stick. Now, I can show you better than I can tell you. So let's check out some of this video footage and let me know in the comment section what you think.
So what do you think, guys? Should we love it or should we leave it? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. But I personally think it looks pretty awesome. All right. So my final thoughts. Now, I think this is an excellent monitor for work and at home, just as long as you concentrate on general work and apps. You know, things like office, online shopping, streaming services, maybe some photo editing, etc. Now, 32 inches gives you a lot of screen real estate. And if you double your pleasure by adding another screen, it's even better. Now, as far as gaming, you're getting 60 frames per second, which is great for the casual gamer, but not so much for the hardcore gamer. Now, I've been using this monitor for over two weeks and I give it the TechFit 360 thumbs up and count it worthy to be a part of my budget gear series. Now at the time of this video you can pick one up or two for $329.99 each. I'll leave all my affiliate links in my description. Now thank you so much for watching today. Be sure to connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and please subscribe to the TechFit 360 YouTube channel for more tech videos. This is Dan with Tech for 360 and I will see you in my very next video. God bless.